Well, breaking news is first at 10 o'clock tonight. We have learned another body has been pulled from the rubble of two apartment buildings in East Harlem. And unfortunately, the situation is getting even more grim after a gas leak triggered explosion. Thanks for being with us on this Thursday night. I'm Tamson Fidel. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Stanford. Now, just a short time ago, rescuers found an eighth body in the rubble of those two apartment buildings in East Harlem. And tonight they're searching for more remains. Four people are still missing in the aftermath of yesterday's explosion. That blast injured more than 60 people. There are still hot spots in the wreckage. Fire and smoke continue to hamper the search. Meanwhile, people who lived in or near the blast site are living at PS 57. That's where the Red Cross and Salvation Army have set up a shelter. Well, there are a lot of stories to come out of that emergency shelter because there are people who have lost everything and there are people who are still holding out hope of finding their friends and their family alive. PIX 11's Amber Cogliano is live at the shelter with a closer look at these very personal stories and Hey there, Tamsin. Well, the shelter remains open here on 125th Street. And let me tell you, this shelter is needed. The Red Cross providing services like food, clothing, even counseling. There are a lot of problems to deal with from this explosion. But overall tonight, people here telling us they feel lucky to be alive. How are you doing? Bad because my it was it was part of the, the church. It was part of that church where he used to live there. But I mean, I can I don't know. I can tell you no more. I mean, You're I'm heartbroken. Gonna... Yes. This man's friend is still missing in the rubble in East Harlem. He couldn't reveal his friend's identity, but told us he's a member of the Spanish Christian Church, a beloved East Harlem church now in ruins. Some of them are still in a state of shock, so they're processing what they need to to get what they need to do to move on to the next phase. Red Cross volunteer Fern Chan has seen so much sorrow at the shelter at the Salvation Army on 125th Street. There's about 120 people inside in need of services in the aftermath of the explosion. 68 adults and 51 children. Some need a place to sleep. Others need a place to grieve. What are you seeing? It's more like, what, what do I do now? They let us um, go and get um, our valuables, the stuff we needed. So they let us in. Ibrahim Akizio has all that's valuable attached to his body. His building is not secure enough to live in. His home is next door to the collapse. I'm concerned for the people missing, the people injured. I'm concerned for me and my family. Um, how long are we not going to be in our own homes? Inside the shelter, there's a chapel. The mood Thursday night was described as somber in every room. This man is heading to a hotel. Still, he told us he's thankful. It could have been far worse. I have no other choice right now. It's either that or a shelter. Do you know how long you're going to be out of your home? That they haven't told us yet. And I just spoke with a person who is in touch with members of that church. The person told me that they are staying together tonight, hoping and praying, and they're hoping the missing are found in a hole and that the FDNY just overlooked them. They're keeping hope alive. Live in East Harlem, Ann Mercagliano, PIX11 News. Tampton and Scott, back to you. All right, Ann, thank you. Well, so far tonight, we know the identities of some of the victims of yesterday's explosion. Griseldi Camacho was a peace officer at Hunter College. She was in the apartment taking care of her elderly mother at the time. Her mother survived that blast. A mother and daughter are also among the dead. 21-year-old Rosaro Hernandez Barrios and Rosaro Barrios Vasquez lost their lives in the explosion and 43 year old Andreas Panagopoulos had lived in his East Harlem apartment for more than a decade. He was a musician and a budding entrepreneur and 67 year old Carmen Tanko was a dental hygienist. We will bring you the identities of the other victims as they do become available to us. Well, not far 